Hi fam, welcome to my channel, Mobile Entertainment. For those of you who don't know, I also have a TikTok account at Mobile Entertainment. Please don't forget to subscribe, to subscribe here. Please don't forget to follow me there. For those of you who keep coming back, thank you so much. I appreciate you guys so much. I really honestly do. And you know, you do what family does. So therefore, hey fam. In this video, we'll be talking about The Unexpected by DJ Zintle. Season three is out, guys. If you missed it, it's either you catch up on DSTV or you can always catch up here on Mobile Entertainment and we'll be talking about all things The Unexpected season 3 episode 1. Let's talk about it. You know, I don't know guys but you know I've always been in awe of DJ Zintia's relationship with Lynn Forbes. I mean I have never. If I think about what DJ Zintia has been through if I think about everything, and I mean everything that she has been through with the Forbes family. And, um, you know, watching The Unexpected, and I'm seeing how refreshing that relationship still is. And, you know, DJ Sinclair just being unbothered about what people think and what people say about whether or not she should do this or she should do that. And this beautiful relationship that she has with, you know, her daughter's grandmother. And I'm just sitting there and I'm like, Lord, heck, what did I do wrong? And I'm just, yeah. But that is such a beautiful, beautiful, absolutely beautiful relationship. And while they're having this walk, obviously, um, you know, AKA is going to come up somewhere in their conversation. And he actually did. Um, Lynn is now saying that, you know, Keenan um, came to her in a dream. Right, came to her in a dream and basically told her that they needed to limit um, Cairo's social media presence. They need to, you know, sort of take her off, gradually take her off social media because of just all the effects. Um, you know, social media can be so traumatic and we have people who have no respect for whether or not it's an adult or a child. They will just bully, bully, bully. And, you know, Lynn came out and said, you know what, Keenan told me in a dream that we need to take Cairo off, you know, and not so much off, but if we just limit her from, you know, being in the social media space. And I mean, I think DJ Zintle being, you know, someone in that space and, you know, all that backlash that she gets, you know, whatever she does, people will talk. And, you know, this, this recent conversation with her, uh, this recent trend of her, um, People just, you know, going off about how she's... I'm trying to find a more decent English word. Because this is someone's mother, guys. So you can't go off and say things like what people are saying about her. But, you know, even, you know, Lynn's approach to it, you can tell that she's not trying to make decisions for OTJ English. She's honestly just advising her as, you know, Kyle's grandmother to say, perhaps if we do this and... You know, if we could have more grandmothers like that, I don't know, guys, but I'm just saying, I'm just saying. So, Lynn is giving that advice, and Tita Zintle, I think she, because as somebody in that space, she, she, she was very quick to agree, and I don't blame her. Um, so, but then you ask yourself the question, why is Tita Zintle now putting, you know, Caro in her live performances and all that? I mean, it's cute to watch, um, it's cute to see, um, her trying to, you know, introduce Caro to, um the media industry but however it comes with its how can i say it comes with it comes with its damages because that's what social media can do if you're on its you know wrong side it can damage you actually it doesn't matter what side you're on social media will damage you period and then we move on to muzi guys okay so obviously those rumors were confirmed a long time ago that Muzi and you know her longtime boyfriend Zbura had broken up. I don't know, it's just something about longtime boyfriends, guys. I just you know, I think we should just start fearing longtime boyfriends because I don't know, it's just yeah. Ne? But she's now shacking up with her sister, right? Chef Nons. And I I just have this thing. Um, that tells me that because she did mention that they had the whole sit down imagine breaking up with your boyfriend and then you still have that whole sit down with the family and your know, family's involvement and they're not even married and then we see um, Utije Zinke and Kara. I don't know I just feel 
uh, because DJ's intro did mention that they are going through therapy um, since the passing of, you know, AKA and how that's, you know, affected Cairo. And just also to mention that Cairo um, said goodbye to her father, AKA, and she went to work, right? It never came back. So um, I think DJ Zintle was just trying to have that conversation with her because each time, you know, DJ Zintle wakes up to go to work, Cairo is in a very sad place. She starts crying and all of that. So I think she simply did mention that, you know, therapy has helped, but she's trying to find ways that, you know, she can sort of like console Cairo and almost like um, give her assurance that she is going to come back from work. Because I can just imagine um, her saying goodbye to your dad and he leaves for work. Um, that in Cairo's mind, she's thinking that, you know, probably since, you know, her, when her mother wakes up and, and goes to work, her mother might not come back. And that's just, I don't know, as a mother, I just feel as though, but <sighs> TJ Zinclair is really, really, really doing her best. I think um, before she's anything else to us, she's a mother and a beautiful mother at that. Just watching her with, with Cairo and Asante, it's just such a refreshing relationship to watch. And I enjoy um, DJ Zintle as a mother I, and it's it's so real, it's so authentic it's unscripted um, I'm still waiting for the drama I'm still waiting for the drama I did mention in my previous video that I would love I would love personally, I would love if DJ Zintle gave us Muda Bonsa's baby mama I think if DJ Zintle can give us that like we're not asking for them to like you know, spread rumors about this and that. And we love DJ Zintle and Muda Bongs together. That is an absolutely beautiful relationship. But we just, just, you know, you know, just spice it up a bit. You know, that combo, just, just a little bit. So, I mean, just give us drama. But so far, I'm happy uh, with what DJ Zintle gave us in this episode. And obviously, we appreciate um, her... Um, showing us, you know, what happens on the inside because we only see what happens on the outside. And, all of, and I just feel like DJ Zinclair is so authentic. I love her, absolutely love her to bits. Comment much thing in the comment section. I think as, you know, the season progresses, I think we might get a little bit of... And obviously, I'm going to bring it to you guys. I'm going to bring you everything. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. That's it from Nobile Entertainment.